Okay. I'm going to attempt to build an antenna for my CB base. And yeah, some lower side and upper side. Um, I'm going to try to outperform an Antron. Otherwise, if you want something simple, go get an Antron. I've had Antrons. I like them. They work good. But it seems like I can't get them much below 1.5 on the swing test. So, I want to be quick. And here's my materials that I'm starting with. If I've posted this and you're watching this, that means it was a success. <laughs> okay, you don't have to wait to the end to see. Um... I got 25 foot of bear number six. We only need about 103 inches. Go at it however you want. I went ahead and got 25 foot. Uh, I'm an electrical contractor. I'll use the extra somewhere. But anyway, 25 foot of number six. I got one round electrical box. Um, all half inch KOs. This KO here, I will eventually... Uh, in this project, it's going to get knocked out to one inch. But I want all half inch. I'm going to use these for my ground plane. And from the round box, uh, four half inch EMT connectors. Compression. I did not get set screw on purpose. I did not get die cast on purpose. I got steel because I'm going to crank down on these tight and I don't want them to crack. Sometimes die cast materials will crack when you really want to get something tight. So I went steel. Then we got a one inch EMT connector. Got a three quarter inch PVC electrical box and a blank cover for it. And then on the conduits, here's my half inch PVC, one piece. Here's my four pieces of a half inch EMT. These I'm going to make my ground plane. I think I'm going to cut them down to about eight feet. And I'm going to bend me a 45 degree bend at the top because that's what you want them. You want them approximately 45 degrees to your main tower. The one inch EMT is just going to give me 10 foot above the ground before we get to the main antenna. Um, Right now I'm living on top of a hill, probably one of the tallest hills in this county. So 10 feet on top of my roof, I'm above everything. I think that'll work for me. So uh, I'll be back after I get it put together and we'll go over it again. And most of you guys that are good at building stuff, you'll get it. Oh, my material list. I wrote that out just so you could see it. I didn't total it out. Let me uh, total it out and come right back to it. Uh, here's my material list. Um, looks like about 52 bucks, but I haven't bought the coax yet. I'm sure by the time I get done, I'm gonna be into it for about 100 bucks probably. Um, depends on what you buy your cable and your ends for. Eh, I guess it depends too how much cable you need to buy. But uh, I wanna save a little bit over the Antron, not a lot. But I'm really hoping it's going to give me some zeros on the swing. So, like I said, if, if you see this posted, it was a success. Um, you won't have to wait to the end to see if it all worked. You'll know going through this that it worked. I'll be back. Okay, um, here's my box. This is what I've done. As you can notice, I put the one inch, if you're familiar with the trade, <clears throat> that's backwards, but that's what I need to make this work. This is not your typical electrical project. And there's my half inch connectors around the side. I'm going to have four ground planes or four elements, whatever you call it. And that's what's going to hold them. So I'll be back. And if you notice, I knocked the back out to one inch. I had a unit bit that would do it. <clears throat> I'm sure there's several creative ways to get it. You don't want to get it too big. And I've got all these pretty darn tight. Um, it's going to take, I think, quite a while for corrosion to ever mess with the connections these are making to the steel. Of course, this is going to be grounded when it's all said and done for the ground plane. So, I'll be back. Okay, I've got my copper wire laid out here. I don't think you got to use number six. 
I think you can go as small as 12. I think I saw one guy use number 14. But I don't know. I just like the, how stiff this is. It was easy to get straight. And it will hold its form pretty good in the conduit. So I just chose to use number six there. And uh, I'm going to cut it at 103. Um, I may have to tune it a little bit. I know it won't need to be any longer than 103. But when I, to tune it, I may have to take it down to 102. But uh, I'll let you know what my final length was to get the best... Uh, the best calibration when it's over. But right now I'm going to start at 103. Okay. Um, here's what I've got so far. Now, I cut off my 10 foot stick of PVC. I've already glued the cap on. And I've got my copper wire inside it. So it's sealed. This box is going to be looking down. Um, so turns out that the bell end of a PVC pipe will glue into a three-quarter inch PVC box, electrical work box. So it seals tight so water can't get in it and this this end here will be looking up so as the water comes the, the mast is sealed inside the coupling and the coupling is sealed inside the box. So Inside the box, I want to drill me a couple of holes in the bottom, one over here and one over here. I'll bring my coax into one and my ground wire out from the braided side of the coax to ground to my ground plane. Um, so, to get 103 inches, you can cut 17 inches off the end, saving your bell end to run through the, pot, uh, through the box like I've done. And that gives you plenty of room to put 103 inches of copper in your mast. Um, so this is what I've got so far and this is just going to slip down inside of my one inch EMT right there like that and the little half inch that you see four of them that's going to be where my ground planes come out so I think this is going to work pretty good it's going to be tomorrow before I can get done. Of course, time I get back, you'll not feel it. <clears throat> but uh, I'll be back tomorrow with my coax and get it all soldered up. And we'll do some calibrations on it. And if I need to tune it, I can just desolder this and just nip off a little at a time to tune it up. So like I said, it's 103 inches. I know it won't need to be any longer than that, but I may need to make it a quarter inch, half inch shorter than that. I don't know. I'll know when I start calibrating it. And, uh, but that's how I'm going to tune it. And once I tune it, it's going to be done, a done deal and just mounted. So there you go.
project? Well, my antenna project was a success. Um, I ended up leaving my copper at exactly 103 inches. On my upper channels, uh, I hardly have any standing wave at all. Um, my highest standing wave is 1.5. Uh, my lower channels, of course, is the highest. I guess if I wanted, I could cut my copper from 103 inches to 102 and a half and maybe split the difference a little bit better, but uh, I'm all right with it. It talks great. I've talked Florida, Texas, North Carolina. Um, it's bouncing. I think uh, I hit California, too, on some skip. But uh, I'm happy with it. If you decide to do this project, I uh, well, wish you luck and have fun. I had fun doing it, and uh, thanks for watching.